In this video I'm making a laser cut plate carrier. It's a super fast prototype, so I'm doing it re really fast. And uh, yeah, this is not about how to make ballistic protection. This is just a plate carrier, so this means a thing to carry the plates on your body. Yeah. Recently I made a video about a simple one. I will link this somewhere here in the info box and also in the description. What is laser cut? Yeah, the name says it all. It's a laser that cuts. So with laser cut you have got some different options than when you make things by hand. The old school method was to use Cordura and then you use webbing, one inch webbing, attach it on top and then you sew it and then you have molly. With laser cut technology you can use a different material which is laminate. So you have Cordura and Cordura glued together and then you have the Cordura laminate. And when you cut this with laser it's strong and super lightweight. So you can do completely different things than you were able to do before. Of course you cannot do this at home unless you have a laser. There are also some small lasers you can buy for some thousand bucks but most of us will not have a laser. Maybe you know someone who has got a laser. But you also have to know how to work with the programs to get your file from which you can laser your product. And then of course you need a sewing machine to stitch all together and to have the finished product. This in that video here is just like an impression. This is a super, super fast prototype. And yeah, enjoy, have fun. I don't want to get too much into details. So at first I'm designing the outer dimensions of the plate. That's basically the Cordura inside which will touch the body. I'm using some reference points and then I just draw around and make some markings where I fold it or cut it. So this is Cordura and here now the laminate. I insert laser cut molly I already designed before. And now I'm working on the attachment points for the square rings with which I will be able to adjust the shoulder straps. Sometimes it needs some time until I get the correct way. It can be helpful to cut something in paper and fold it to see how things fold and now how things move. It can be helpful to make some sketches on paper before you start. Right here I'm doing like a pure freestyle on the PC. I also already had some ideas how I will design it. So this is helpful to make some thoughts about it. And here on the PC I can try it out and see how it fits and make some freestyle. When working on different things, sometimes it's super helpful to add some text so you don't edit the wrong one. For example here, the front side and the back side are different. On the front side I want some extra molly on the sides. And at first I thought I will also add the side adjustment with some laminate. And I wanted to fold it to make it stronger, but then I see <laughs> it's really hard to cut and it will be a waste of material. So I randomly decide to use webbing. Also same with the shoulder straps. I will just make these reference points to add webbing. I also just noticed that the seam will be colliding with some of the molly laser cuts. Now I'm rounding all the edges to make it a bit nicer look. And then I'm done with the basic construction. Now I export it and import it. And then I need to tell the laser how fast and how strong he needs to cut. Of course, for this you need a laser, so thank you very much to the company Concamo who helped me out with this location to use the laser, to use the materials and also the PC. Thanks very much. Now I have these laser cut pieces, I just designed on the PC and also I need some webbing, some velcro and also some plastic parts like these for the shoulder straps and buckles in front to finish the product. So now I will think a bit how I will do it and then I can start sewing on the sewing machine. 
An industrial style sewing machine is not necessarily needed. You can do a lot with a small sewing machine from your grandma, for example. If you want to see something that's more like a tutorial, please watch my other video about the super lightweight, super simple plate carrier. But yeah, I really want to focus on the product and not doing too much of filming while concentrating and thinking about how I do the solution. <laughs> so sorry about that. So the sides, there will be a buckle this length. It's better if you hot cut webbing like this, but now I will use scissors and then I will use a flame with a lighter and just burn these edges so they don't get loose. The shoulder straps will be attached here. So I will make them from webbing and I need at least 40 centimeters and double them up. So it's 80 centimeters. I'll make some reinforcements in here. Because this is where these square rings will be. They'll be like, like that. And if you don't add reinforcements, it's possible that this will rotate and squish the material. So I will add an extra layer of webbing underneath. Yeah, for the construction I'm doing here, it's best to have a white loop velcro like this because this adds the adjustability on the inside of the plate carrier. Two times. Okay, let's start with this. Will be folded like that. Middle marking. So I need this right here. Now the Velcro. Later it will be closed like this. So here needs to be the hook Velcro. So now the sides. Okay, now the insides. First, I need a middle marking. Okay, so these are the parts that will touch the body with this side. Uh, to give you an idea, this is mainly for reinforcement because this goes to the side and this will be on the inside here. And then you can close it like that. Okay, just like that. Yeah. 
looks good. This time I will not sew it together inside out because from the construction this doesn't work. Just place these on each other and then attach it. Now can test if the plates fit in. A moment of truth. Yeah. Just like that. On the sides I have no real coma bond, so I just have this webbing and I attach it directly in this this seam. Okay, now let's attach the Velcro. Okay, I attached more seams around so it's strong. Now for the sides I have these leather locks to stow away the extra webbing. Then for the adjustment these adjustable buckles. Same on the other side. made some more hook velcro here because this piece is a bit too long but yeah it's uh, like the first prototype so yeah this seam is also not optimal over these laser cuts but yeah prototyping So this time it's like that. So you can see the loop velcro. Yeah, I will see. Maybe I will also make some wraps like shoulder paddings. You can also use this to attach pockets underneath. So now here is the laser cut plate carrier. And this is better than on the previous one I made, but I still have no limitation here with the arms. So this is for me super important for a plate carrier because I want to be able to completely move freely. It barely touches the neck. With curvature this will be fine. If the, uh, tilted them 25 degrees, maybe 30 degrees would have been better, but yeah, that's prototyping. I decided to do it like that, not the buckle here, because here I want to have space for pouches and the buckle can even be here and it's not annoying if there is a free space without pockets. But here I want to be able to attach pockets to this area and not have a buckle here and the next pocket there. That's why I have added these wings. So after approximately two hours of work, I now have the first prototype of a laser cut plate carrier. Keep in mind, this is just like a prototype. So this is not a big step for production or whatever. I don't want to blame anyone on, hey, you have to finish products fast because it's like a super quick and dirty 
plate carrier. Now the next step would be to have some fine tuning made to develop a really cool product where the seams maybe are hidden for example and everything is more optimal with like the angle of these but I think it's really workable like that. <laughs> so thank you for watching. Please tell me in the comments have you made tactical gear yourself before? If not, let me know if this video was helpful. Also make so sure to check out my other videos and leave a comment and subscribe if you want. Thanks for watching. Bye.